Morning. Uh, we'll go ahead to chapter 29 today, which is investment. So we'll have to talk about other factors that influences investment. So we're going to start with availability of credit. When we talk about credit, it means uh, being able to get certain amount of money without uh, being able to get certain amount of money from the bank. So let's see what I wrote here. So investment is financed through borrowing. So the willingness of the financial system to give out loan will have impact on investment. That involves borrowing. However, if banks see firms as a high risk, they will feel it reluctant to give out loans. As a result, investment is ca in capital goods with the de with decline in such economy. So availability of credit, some, some investments are funded through borrowing. So in such investments, if banks do not have the willingness to give out loans, then it becomes difficult for such investments to fly. So how, what would discourage banks to give out loans to firms? When banks see those firms as high risk, that means they, are, they, they don't have the capability to pay back. They are not credit worthy. So they won't, banks will feel reluctant to give them loan. And if banks do not give them loan, then it becomes difficult for them to raise finance to invest, so, to invest on capital goods. So that's about availability of credit. So if credit is available for firms, it encourages them, it becomes an incentive for them to increase investment in capital goods. But without borrowings, without credit availability, then it becomes difficult to invest. The second one is retained profit. When we talk about retained profit, this is the profit that is kept by, by firms and do not and not, not distributed to shareholders. We call it retained profit because this profit is being kept back by the firms. They do not distribute it as dividends to shareholders. So retained profit helps determine the level of investment based on the, the fact that if retained profit is high, it becomes an incentive for firms to use it for investment. But a low retained profit discourages investment. So if the retained profit is high, that means the, the amount of money, the amount of money kept back by the firm in terms of profit is higher. That means there's going to be incentive for the firm to increase investment. But if it's a low retained profit, it does not, it's not enough to buy capital goods or to invest in capital goods. As a result, there won't be any reason. It will discourage investment. So a high retained profit will encourage investment, while a low retained profit will discourage investment. Note, retained profit is derived after corporation tax. So because before we talk about retained profit, we would have understood that the, the firms would have paid its corporation tax. These are taxes on profit. As soon as taxes of, on profit are made, are paid, then whatever is left is what to be shared, or is what to be distributed to shareholders or to be retained to the business. Therefore, a high corporation tax may lower investment as retained profit will also be low. So if the corporation tax is high, retained profit might be low. As a result, investment will be low. But if the corporation tax is, for, is falling or is less, then it could, it could increase retained profit. As a result of that, investment will increase. That's about that. And the last one is about the influence of government and regulations. So government can also influence investment. How would government influence investment? I wrote, government can influence investment in the economy. It can cut corporation tax. So the first thing is this, corporation tax. If government cuts corporation tax, like we said earlier, if government cuts corporation tax, it increases profits made by the firms. As a result, it encourages them to invest more. However, that's, a, that's one point. And if there is a rise in corporation tax, it might discourage investment and because profit at that point in time will be less. So that's the first thing. Another, one with, another way in which government can influence investment is through subsidy. Government can help financially. Government can financially help some firms that want investment as a result by giving them aid or grants so that they can invest. So subsidy can also influence investment. Another way, to, another way is through guaranteeing loans. For these guaranteeing loans, banks are the ones to give the loans to firms. But in case the firms do not pay back, banks will pay instead. That's why we call it guaranteeing loans. So this encourages banks or financial houses to give out loans because they know if the debt goes bad, the bank or uh, the government will pay for it. So these are all factors that influences investment. We talked about retained profit, we talked about interest rate, we talked about the rate of economic growth, we talked about the world economy. Today we're talking about availability of credit, retained profit, and influence of government and regulation. So these are all influences of investment. And note, investment is what? Spending or expenditures on capital goods. Thank you.